culture over here. These niggas got their own languages. Yeah. They got their own everything. They got their own sense of community. We don't have that. You yeah. know what I'm saying? We don't know who the hell we fucking. That's why we probably retarded. Because we done probably done fucked our sister or some shit. Bunch of cousins and yeah. all that bullshit. Yo, our shit is crazy. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? The shit that we have to come up on. It's the fact that uh, you believe in what you want to believe in. And um, the black community believes in labels. They believe in um, social media. They believe in... That's a part of validation that you need. Like... When I'm walking outside, this and the third, I don't need validation from anything no more. Like, I'm perfectly fine with who I am yeah. and how I feel inside. So when when we're able to feel there's no need for validation with any type of name brand that you have on, things of that nature. Because uh, I can't remember who said they felt good when they said, oh, oh Mano. Mano made a, a gesture on the Breakfast Club. Uh-huh. He said he went ahead to the, the hood pull up with the with the the Rolls Royce and this that third make it seem like it's it's possible for these dudes to have what they want but you can't do that you nah. don't have too much uh, envy and hate yeah, you can't in that nature because you know why if a nigga hungry and you do that shit excuse me them niggas have tried to do that and that's the thing too mm-hmm. you cannot come around people starving and showing them that Exactly. Because they're already living. If I haven't eaten in two days, yeah. and not only that, even if you have eaten, niggas in the hood don't eat nothing nutritious. Mm-hmm. We talk about nutrient based products. They're not eating nothing nutrients. I mean, with any nutrients, you eating Chinese food, you eating grits and bacon. Ain't no fucking nutrients in grits and bacon. Nope. Ain't nothing nutrient uh, based in Chinese food. Nothing. And so you come in a community where a nigga that had bags of chips and sodas, I see it in the stores. Yeah. You know, and you come with a Bentley, that nigga's oogling at that shit because then he got this phone and he got a TV and TV showing him all this shit, making him feel even more inferior. You better off coming in with a motherfucking big ass truck full of food, full of clothes or full of money. Exactly. To make motherfucking situation better. You got all these athletes with all this fucking money, and ain't no money trickling back down the community. Niggas talking about they opening up schools, man. Nigga, niggas got to eat, man. Yeah. Fuck a school right now. You can do the school as you fucking want to. Yeah. They don't make you any gotta sense. Mother, you got to get down to the barest essence, and mm-hmm. that's the thing that I said earlier. You got to get down to the rudimentary essence of this motherfucker. You know, the beginning, where it commits, where it starts. You can't be like, I listened to some shit with Kevin Hart tonight, and he was talking about some shit as far yeah. as, um, he was talking about some shit as far as um, him writing his his book, his book mm-hmm. of life. Mm-hmm. But nigga, you one of the few niggas that's made it out this motherfucker. Yeah. That's not saying nothing, saying anything to the 99.9999% that's not going to make it. 99.8. Okay. <laughs> then it won't make it. Right. That won't make it. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So that's my point. You know, if anything, man, it's like the thing we um with with common said. Yo, you gotta teach a nigga how to eat. You know what I'm saying? Two fishes and five loaves. You gotta give a nigga get nigga something to eat. And once you teach a nigga how to fish, he can feed the village. Yeah. If you just gave him a fish, he gonna eat for the one yeah, day. But you can't come in there with no motherfucking car and we ain't ate nigga. You can't come in here with all these gold goddamn chains, nigga. You and fool. We, ain't, we ain't eight, nigga. You, fool. you know That's what I'm saying? What it is. Feed niggas. If y'all niggas can go buy chains and go do this and do that, why don't y'all niggas go sit down with uh, uh with with Monsanto or but, somebody? I mean, although mm-hmm. them niggas ain't getting up nothing for free. But what to cut you off is saying that it's a general standpoint that they said niggas are so used to slavery, the first thing we do with our money, we go buy a chain. Because we was bonded by chains for so long in our lives, as and now it's gen, it's passed down to generation to generation that we look good with a gold chain on, rope chains and shit like well, that. Well, also they said this: a nigga will go build himself a back door when it ain't no back door, when it's just a front door. Yeah. So it's all in, and you know, like I look at myself, for instance, right? Mm-hmm. I look at myself, all the things that my father impressed upon me. I could think this nigga was fucking crazy. You know, stopping me in the street, jacking me up. Look at this. Look at that. And I'm, you know, get a license. Do this. Keep your autonomy. Keep your sovereignty. All these different things. I couldn't see what he was saying. 
Man, at 46 years old, my father and I, we we're very similar. And so yeah. a lot of times we don't speak. But well, he called me for my birthday and we kicked it around. And I mm -hmm. told him, I said, yo, man, I really appreciate you. Because you gave me a level of understanding to be yeah. able to navigate through this motherfucker. No, I, I relish and cherish being a black man. Because exactly. I know most motherfuckers walking the sidewalks in any city can't do what I do. Being able to navigate being able to be seen the way exactly. I'm seen and viewed That's and having exactly. to be outstanding and exemplary and sublime mm. and majestic and all this other yeah. shit, you know, to, to be great enough for a motherfucker, you know, to, to respect where the fuck I'm coming from. And you got to understand a lot of these kids don't have that, but that's the responsibility that if you do put your mm -hmm. dick inside of a woman or yeah. a woman do choose to have a baby and not get an abortion. When y'all bring these vest these, these beams through these vessels, y'all got to prepare them for this shit. There's nobody yeah. else's responsibility but ours. Exactly. You know what I'm saying? And, and motherfuckers that's turn their the backs thing. on them. Right. That's the thing. Them. They they go and they molest them and they rape them. And they feed them the worst food and this or that. And I ain't just talking about motherfucking food that you eat. I'm talking about mental food, spiritual food. Yeah. You know, you got to prepare a motherfucker. You know, we multidimensional beings. You know, we biological, biochemical machines. Exactly. Carbon based. We have to run at optimal levels. You know what I mean? Y'all niggas can't needs to be on. Yeah, y'all niggas can't times. come through the fucking hood doing that bullshit. Yeah, it fucks up our train of thought. Yeah. Cause uh some people so focus on um or tunnel vision to the point that they don't give a fuck about what's going on around them. They Definitely. need to have that meal, that plate in front of them. And when you become food, you become food. That's the simple fact of what it is. Yeah, but, you know, uh, it, you know, it, you know, it's just like I say, you know, all the time, you know. I, um, a lot of times with me on purpose, I go in different neighborhoods, talk to different women, go in different neighborhoods, talk to different men. Mm -hmm. I ain't talking about black people. I'm talking about, you know, from everywhere, white, in general. Hispanic, whatever the fuck, mm -hmm. wherever I go, I make a point to go and touch the people. You know why I do this? I'm going to tell you why I do this. Because we're perpetuated a certain way on a certain different media outlets. And I'm going to tell y'all something. I think I touched on it before on the other show. The word media in Latin means mind. Yes. So what I right. tend to do is go to different places. Like I'll go to the bank and talk to the women in the bank, see where they coming from and stuff like that. Yeah. Go different. A lot of women think because you talk to them that you want to fuck them. Like, I don't want to fuck you. Sometimes we just want to be intrigued by your mind as well. I want to see where your where your where your mind is. Funny, I had texted a young lady tonight, and I told her, I said, I want to see what's on your cap. I want to I want to know what's your opine in me, and okay. she took it the other way, and she said to me, Well, basically, and I you know I took it as she was trying to diss me, but I know she ain't know no better. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? And I laughed at it, and she didn't realize that I had put her on to a hell of a book. Exactly. That was going to go inside her fucking pineal gland and open her scope up. It may I take you the next 20 years to read the fucking book. Yeah. But I gave it to you for a reason. And you missed all of that. You, I see that you cook on Instagram. But one thing I see about you cooking, you cooking wrong. It looked good. But are you enzyme cooking? Mm. Are you cooking to get the nutrients out of the food? Are you, you just cook as fast as you want, but the nutrients might not The nutrients are going to leave. Just like if you squeeze motherfucking juice into a glass, or like a lemon juice. Like you got to drink that ass, shit immediately. Like these big ass tomatoes come yeah, out of the ground and all shit. all that shit. You can grow a tomato as fast as a, a shave off a week, but it doesn't have the nutrients that it can sustain you or anything in your family in that nature. Exactly. No, you're right. You're right. So, so, so that's the thing that a lot of people don't understand. See, all this shit is nutrient based. It's what you're getting, what, what you're receiving. You know, yeah, you can hear a whole bunch of shit, but that's a lot of shit that you have to have the cognition to be mm -hmm. able to blank out and then take the nutrient properties out of it. Just like chicks can talk to this dude, talk to that dude, but is this nigga the right nigga to talk to you? Do or you, is he the right baby daddy? Right, all of those things. Apparently motherfuckers got a lot of baby daddies. Right, and it's the same thing with men as well. You yeah. make a decision on letting the wrong bitch choose you. And I can't even say that I'm not a statistic. I we all are to a level I got, of degree. I got two baby mamas and shit like that. 
But you know, I got love for both of them and things of that nature. Yeah. But I, am I a statistic? Yes, I'm a statistic and I have all are, point, man. But I will not bring another child in this world with uh, a woman that I don't see myself being with for the rest of my life. But the way I'm moving and things of that nature, I love being on my own. I love coming home to myself. I love hearing silence. When I cut off the lights and the TV and shit like that, no doubt. it's like, it's the best feeling in the world. Yeah, you walk Perfect. around naked, Yeah, jerk off if you want to. Let off some knuckle chills, yeah. you know, all you, all yeah. you fucking want to. By yeah. the sink, clean the sink mm -hmm. when you feel like mm -hmm. it. Clean the sink. But the girls that come through, look here, got to make the bed. You got to do this before you leave. That's you, just the way it is. You better than me. I don't want no company. I mean, like, I get, you know. You get a little lonely. No, you, uh, listen, you I'm going to tell you. Lonely, no, no, girl. no, you do get lonely. <laughs> <laughs> but the thing I also told, I have one young lady that come through. She can't fuck with her crazy. Love her to death. She come through once in a while, mm -hmm. you know, and she come clean. She's a very clean person. She don't have to clean my apartment because it's clean. But when she come over, she stay in the bed. I don't mind waiting on her. I don't mind going to the store for her. I don't mind kissing her ass both literally and figuratively I because you. I love what I see in her. You know what I'm saying? Exactly. And you know, like I, you know, like I thoroughly, thoroughly enjoy. Um, I, I thoroughly enjoy my time with her. See, don't yeah. get it messed up on this show that we bashing women. No. Niggas love women. Love them. You know, we love women. You love know, them. Yeah. Love them when they I mean, come to in my mouth. Yeah, I love mean, them. I love doing things <laughs> for a woman that's yeah. from what I feel that's worthy. You know what I mean? She doesn't have to jump through no hoops for me, but no. but. If I chose to put mm -hmm. myself for as, as far as what I've seen, yeah. put myself around a certain type of woman, and it's just like I can't fuck with chicks that I don't like. But if I like her and she is what I perceive, yeah, I won't have a problem doing for her. you know. I sit, I lotion, but it still you, has to reciprocate though. Of course, well, that's my point. The point being is that you should know. Excuse me, you should know that it's going to reciprocate because you chose to be around this person. You have to know you. But some guys actually fall into but that But these rut. niggas is not us, though, they're like dog. A, they're like a turtle with on a shell. They're literally trying to turn back over, but they can't because they're so controlled by that woman. Well, you know what, though? It's a balance. You know what I'm saying? You got to mm -hmm. let, first of all, too, a lot of these broads, they don't want no punk-ass niggas. So you got to be strong as well. It's a delicate balance. So a lot of times when people be talk about balance, people think about one and two. Nah. You have to balance every aspect of your life. It may be a thousand concepts in your life. You got to balance all of them shits. Yeah. And you got to be able to pull this here, pull that there, and integrate the concepts. A lot of times people don't can't think on that level. This shit is vast. Exactly. It's intricate. It's got a lot of depth to it. You understand what I'm saying? These motherfuckers don't understand what the fuck is going on out here. Yeah. But once you understand what's going on, again, that word, operative word, navigate. You're exactly. able to navigate. See, this shit is, is based on maritime law. This is okay. based on laws it of the sea. So when you talk about navigation and mm -hmm. stuff like that, you know, you have to use motherfucking compass. You may have to use the fucking stars. You yeah. may have to use the tides in order to see where the wind is blowing and know if you're going west, you know, east, north, or south, or whatever. You have to look at the horizon, you yeah. know, the sun, so on and so forth. You know what I mean? It's the same. Listen, man, all this shit is the same as it's different. Everything has its parallels. Same as its difference. Everything the has its segways, intersections. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? So once you start to understand, yeah. you can't know this stuff if you work with somebody else. And that's our next show. That's our next show. We need to talk about working yeah. that word chapalium, torture. Chapalium. That's a Greek word Chipalium. for talk for uh, torture. Came from the French word travail or Spanish word trabajo. Well, I just want to torture some of JJ. Well, shit, nigga. Shit, like you know, you living your best life. It's like, man, I'm about to beat it up. So, but we all going to talk about a lot more in that and that that nature. But also traveling abroad. Should we bring women back on a green card? No, 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 no. no, no, no. I can't say no, no, no. Yeah, there yeah. might be certain situations that you want to do. This America. It's America. America's for the free. Well, what happens is motherfuckers come from their land. See, they come yeah. from their indigenous land and they act indigenous. But nah, then when they come here. We all here, niggas. They, no, but then new. when they come here, they get corrupted. You leave them there because if you want them, 
in the essence of what uh-huh. they are, in leave essence, them where they at. Leave them where they at. You right. Now, I ain't telling you know, that's what I'm saying. If you be a chick, if you need some help. Nah, I if you need a chick that's in Dominican Republic and she's living on the farm 